battle for first place. Car number 83 got just a little high, and Ricky Rudd has just gone into second spot. There was a bounce going off turn number two. They got car number 83 just a little loose. Meanwhile, Richard Petty has moved around. He has taken fourth. Darrell Waltrip is back in fifth. Sterling Marlin is sixth. Rusty Wallace is in seventh. The interval just incredible. There's Richard Petty in the 43. There are all the lead cars. As we get down to the end of it, 380 laps complete, 20 to go. It has been just a remarkable event here in Richmond, Virginia. $358,000 at stake. Next time we're with you, we'll be at the 600. Charlotte, North Carolina. We have, we have Mark with Dale Inman in the pits. There's about 18 laps to go. We run just as hard as we can. And these, as you can see, busy in consultation. They want this win badly. Richard Petty, who many of us last week, as we saw him in those vicious, terrible end over end, side over side rolls, then lying there in the track and being center punched at about 100 miles an hour by Brett Bodine. I think every racing fan in America who loves this sport said an extra prayer at that moment for Richard Petty that he was going to survive it. Survive it. Heck, here he is running for the lead. Car number 43. Back with the leader another time. 75 up in front. You'll see that Ricky Rudd changed his line a little bit, went a little higher, got a better bite off the turn, and he's running Neo down. Now, he looks like his car will work higher now. And I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be Neil Bonnet right now because Ricky did get around on the high side a while ago, and that is a hard place to pass, but he does have a car. looks like he's working on the bottom and up above, so Neil's going to have to keep him back there. 384 laps are complete. Last time, Raymont Racing won at car number 75, 1983, the Atlanta Journal 500, Atlanta, Georgia. On that mile and a half, here today, there's Ricky Rudd of the Kenny Bernstein car, closing another time. Kenny Bernstein, who is one of the gamest and nicest people in motorsports, has put together a Winston Cup team and has just seen frustration after frustration since he began it. Maybe today it's all going to come around and he'll finish this race in victory lane. Running in second, Rudd just performing masterfully, the performer that has won on this track before knows this track well, loves this track, performing before a hometown crowd. Ricky Rudd, the 84 winner, right there, badgering car number 75, Neil Bonnet, as we get down to decide it today. You know, we haven't mentioned, but uh, Neil Bonnet, his leg was severely broken, right? Richard Petty has a severely hurt bad leg. Maybe there's something to these hurt legs because these old guys are just driving the wheels off of these cars. Well, not only was Bonnet's leg broken, but he shattered it, and he shattered his hip in that awful crash in Charlotte. And he comes out, and he just limps over to the car and says, now nah, it doesn't bother me a bit. And you just know that's Neil Bonnet, that that thing does hurt. Top four cars are not on the Winter Circle program as we get down to the end of it here today. Bonnet Won the Atlanta race in 83 for Raymock. And from 84 to 86, they had Dave Marcus in the car. They've had Lake Speed, Jody Ridley, Morgan Shepard, Jimmy Sauter. They're back with Bonnet. They're leading. Can they stay there? And here are the pictures from inside the Darrell Waltrip car momentarily. Remember that he's running in fifth. They have all driven their hearts out. This capacity house sold out for the last nine days is seeing a great finale to the grand old Richmond Fairgrounds. And there's Richard the man who won the last dirt track race here back in 1968, giving it his very best again today. Hail the king. Richard's just getting ready to try to pick up third place from Lake Speed. He's right on his bumper. He's been working him. He's working him to the outside, and then he tries to cut back on the inside. Here he's looking to the outside. Lake Speed knows, try to keep that car to the bottom. I have a better chance if I can keep it at the bottom. Here, here goes, goes Richard. Richard. He's up on the outside of Lake Speed. Richard Petty laps running down, 391 complete, nine to go. Petty going for third. All right, Lake Speed just loses it for a second as he gathered it up. Richard Petty's into third. Now watch Richard try to keep it back down. Lake he right back down. They rub tires. You can see the smoke run. But Richard did get by. That scrubbed a little speed off a of lake. So 
Richard Petty has moved into third, and he's sitting there saying, maybe Bonnet and Rudd will get together, and I have a chance to win this thing because he's back a little bit now. It's amazing. As you get out of the end of these races, of course, they drive on what they do best, and that's pure meanness among a lot of these drivers. That's what short track racing is all about. But when Petty pulls up, it seems to be pure respect. They don't give him anything, yet at the same time, when he comes alongside, you know it's Richard Petty. Here's car number 11 right there with it. Back up front again. Here's car number 75, and the laps are running down. There are seven to go. Neil Bonnet so badly hurt in such terrible pain over a couple of months and worked harder to rehabilitate himself to come back for Daytona. They said that when he went down to Daytona for practice, he took five laps, and he hurt so bad he came in and had to be taken out of the car. He said, oh, that's not true at all. That's just not true. But there's some that will tell you that he hurt plenty when he went out for his initial test of that car. Here's Chris Economaki. Kenny Bernstein, the owner of Ricky Rudd's car, and he says that if it stands this way, he's filing a protest. Oh, car number 75 is in the wall. Number 75 is in the wall and turn number one for just a moment. And closing is number 26. Morgan Shepard blew a tire, hit Neil Bonnet, knocked him into the wall. I don't know if it did any tire damage. He still sees me. I don't see any tire smoke. But here comes Ricky Rudd after him. And the reason Ricky Rudd did not go by is he went on the binders. He realized, here's Morgan Shepard on pit road, all destroyed. He cut a tire. He did not do it with any intent. He just slammed into the side of Bonnet's number 75 and pushed wild Bonnet right to the wall in turn number two. He survived the incident. He stays up there. Ricky Rudd is in second. Richard Petty is in third. A quick replay on that incident. Here's what happened. Up there in the corner, there you can see the 75 in the wall. He was mashed there after 97, cut a tire down. Ricky Rudd did a great job of driving. He could have been right into the back of 97 and out of it. And Neil Bonnet is just holding his breath, hoping that he did not cut a tire or rub a tire hard enough because he can hang on, he can win this thing. They're showing 398 on the board. We're getting down towards the finish. Car number 75, Neil Bonnet by his fingernails and toenails clutching to the side of this rock, which is called the Richmond Fairgrounds. White flag, one left to go. It'll be worth almost $300,000 to him to get on plan one, plus the victory here today if Neil Bonner can hold on this last lap. Now he is some gritty guy. And I can assure you the first person that's gonna hug his neck is Dale Earnhardt, because they are partners. Here they come down to the line to finish it this afternoon. The checkers are out. And Alabama's Neil Bob